In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the X5 Mark IIx Cinema Camo Rig. So Lumix just recently sent me the S5 Mark II X to do a review on. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll put it right there in the top of this link up here. But in this video, I'm breaking down this camera rig that I made and produced an entire spec project with. It's honestly really has a lot of great features and the SSD recording comes in clutch. So for my cage of choice, I'm actually using the basic cage from Small Rig. The thing that I like this over the Black Mama cage is that it has two cold shoes instead of just one. And it also locks in place. And then the fact that it has a built-in NATO top rail makes it super easy that I don't have to add anything to it. So for the top handle, I'm using the Small Rig top handle. They have nicer ones that have more of a wooden groove to it. This is just one of the cheapest ones and I just have a ton of these. So this is typically what I use for the majority of the time. So for my 15 mil rods for this camera case, I prefer actually having a little bit smaller ones. So these are about eight inches. So I use V-mount to power this entire rig and I have just the small rig plate just to pit it and attach it on. Now, before we put on the V-mount plate, what I actually add to the back of this is my SSD. This makes it just kind of nice and compact on the back of this little unit right here. The reason I put it here and not on the physical camera cage is because I found it whenever I was pinned on the camera cage, it was just getting in the way of me filming or holding the top handle or pressing record or touching features. Now that I have the SSD on the back of my V-mount, we have to pit on the V-mount itself. So my V-mount of choice for this rig is the Andy Cine 95S. This little V-mount power has a bunch of different options. Not only the fact it has the power on the sides, it has two D-taps, USB-C, USB, and also a DC port, so you can power multiple things and options. One of my favorite features about this battery specifically is that it also shows the percent indicator on the front of the battery. Now that I have the Andy Cine V-mount battery, my cord of choice is actually gonna be the Condor Blue um, D-tapped to a dummy battery. This is just really high quality, nice rope. It feels very, very durable. I absolutely love this little powering option for my rig. Before I put a lens on this, I'm actually throwing on a, the Sigma adapter from L to EF mount a lens so I could pit my EF lens. So the lens I'm using is actually a cinema lens. The reason I'm using this is just because of the quality of glass and the image you're getting out of this looks amazing. Now I know I'm not using the face detect autofocus and I'm not able to have things actually be autofocus, but I use a lot of other lenses as well, like the kit lens, the 50 mil lens and the 85 prime lens, that's all from Lumix but I just kind of love using a Mikey Cine lens just because of the quality of glass you are getting out of this. So on top of the lens right here, I always like having a mini map box. I really like having the smaller ones, mostly just because it's able to be a little bit more compact. I still can put a filter in this map box if I want, but it's mostly to remove flares. And if I'm being honest with myself, it's also kind of just makes the rig look a little bit cooler as well. So the next thing on this rig that I have is the small rig wireless focus. Now the reason I'm using a wireless focus instead of a small rig mini follow focus or just a normal manual follow focus system is because it takes a long time on a full frame cinema lens to pull all your focus. So for example, if I wanna go all the way to the uh, infinity, I'm at infinity like that. If I wanna go all the way to the other side, I'm already there. So it makes it super quick to pull focus when you let the motors just work for you. So the next thing on this rig is my Andy Cine ultra bright monitor. This is a 3000 nit monitor, which is really nice if ever I'm shooting in broad daylight, having those 3000 nits comes in clutch and I can plug a DC from the V mount I'm using, but I honestly really just like these big NPF batteries since they last me probably two-ish hours if I'm at full brightness, but if not, it probably lasts me around four hours on this charge. 
And lastly, to complete this rig is actually just pitting all of the cords and Velcro in the different things. So I pit the USB-C, the HDMI, Velcro it, make sure all the cords go around. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little breakdown of this cinema camera rig using the S5 Mark II X. If you want to see my entire review on that video, I have it linked right here. If you want to see something what YouTube recommends, check out this video right here. Until next week, guys, peace.